And that's the walls. The walls are mapped. Door frames mapped. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, I believe the windows were mapped to begin with. <coughs> Do have symmetry still on them, so I need to collapse that. Hold yes. Uh, what about the ones upstairs? Yes. Hold yes. Collapse two. Hold yes. Uh, you guys. No, you're fine. You guys are just fine. Okay. Uh, let me check the windows. The windows. Well, we know the walls are done. So we can hide those. Click all the end ones. The ones we just made, too. Hide selection. And you're unwrapped. You're pretty much mapped. You're going to have a scalable pile texture on you. Well, we're going to put you with the other guy anyway. Let's check the windows. We're putting those with the Terrence. So we'll, we'll keep that roughly the same resolution as the Terrence. That's all that's required for the windows. Because it's going to have the glass material on it. Um, As long as it's kind of flat, you can put a solid color on it and give it a tint. So we can hide the windows on each floor. Uh, last first floor, times two. And last two plus. And hide selection. And hide selection here. Got all these doors. We're going to do them absolutely last because they're going to be a little more complicated. All these interior doors. Um, because they all have different numbers on them. So I have to. The hell is that? That door. Why is that door there? Oh, that's a first floor door. It's their stairwell door. Okay. My bad. My bad. Yes, it should be facing in. Yes, that should be facing in also. Okay. get confused sometimes just like everybody else leave me alone i'll go ahead and grab these uh steps and attach the rest of these guys to it no more rainbow steps don't need them it could be one object uh if they're gonna be concrete i can yeah i'll be mapping them at uh, the same resolution as the roof and the Terrence. That way, the resolution stays the same between the three. <coughs> With concrete. We'll unhide by name. Uh, we got window frames done. Walls are done. Top ceiling. Terrence. Stairs. Roof. Handrail. Ground floor. Uh... Door frames, door frames are done. Ceiling, ceiling is not done. Door two, floor two plus is not done. I mean, they look like they're done, but they're not exactly done. We're gonna call this uh, ceiling underscore first floor. And this is gonna be two plus. This is going to be Ceiling or plus, and then of course we have Mr. Top Ceiling here. Okay, so we'll grab Mr. Terrence, Mr. Steps, Roof, and we hide these guys here. This guy. And we'll isolate those. 
So this should be all our concrete uh, pieces. Now we'll just add a UV right on top of that. Uh, something is not unwrapped. I thought I unwrapped it all. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we have. These are the steps. They are unwrapped. This. This. I am not sure what the hell this is. <coughs> this is the pieces in the middle. The little edges. Uh, that is this. That goes with these. This. This. I'm assuming this is probably the roof. We're unwrapping the roof. Which is okay. Because. Roof is really just a Terrence. But the Terrence has a hole in it. And the roof. So we could we could technically use the Terrence. Just drag it back up and put another hole in it. Or take the hole out. Bridge it together right there. Ah <sighs> but I'm not going to. I'm not going to because it's it's not that hard to unwrap. It's just some clicking. And I'd have to unwrap whatever I bridge anyway. <laughs> and I'm just going to click all these guys. Everything's facing the same direction. It's going to be a freaking piling texture. Unless somebody lands on it. Nobody's going to see it. Or they're on a skyscraper looking down. And that's probably going to be low res from that distance anyway. And nobody's even going to be able to see this part hardly because they'll be you know, 45 feet down on the ground looking up at it. They'll always see this little piece sticking out from the side of the building. Except for this piece where the uh, roof to the Terrence is. For the floors below. Okay. Now we turn off normalized map and hit play. Doop doop do. Doop 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 doop. Do. As long as these are all the same. Uh, size. They'll all have the same resolution. We need us a good concrete texture to test the resolution of it, but that's not really a big deal. Tappy tap tap. I mean, it may add an aesthetic stuff on the roof anyway. <clears throat> AC units, maybe a little water tower. There's probably not going to be roof access because, you know. Motherfuckers living here a pole. Got no house. They live under government. So, government don't want people going up there and throwing themselves out the roof. And then they get sued. You'll be suing the government because you're stupidity. You break your legs and you don't die because you're only drop, dropping 40 feet. Restrictive access. You can always add stairs later if I want it. Roof to the roof stairs. Yeah, kind of don't want to. Don't 
don't see the point. Don't need to be able to get on every roof. Some places are going to be inaccessible. Normal people. Um, go around town and you can't get on every roof of every building anyway and this needs to be done I mean, you'll be able to get on a firehouse you'll probably be able to get on the uh, police station uh, the hospital the bank most places will have roof access but this one this one in particular will not neither will the other apartment complex the medium range It uh, likely won't have proof access either. Don't need to get on the roof to be cool. It's only four stories. All you're going to see is the next building, probably. I'd like to add roof access to everything I did. I'd like to add basements and sub-basements to everything I did, but uh, not difficult or hard. It's, it's not easy to do all the terrain crap to add basements in for Arma. Arma is a picky, fickle little bitch. You got to use their editor their way. Deviate even the slightest. You break everything you just did. Get to add one little piece of code and everything's broke. Get to add one little memory point and everything's broke. Don't add a LOD layer exactly the right way. Add it the way you think you should add it. It will break. If you add it any kind of way that makes sense, it will break. You got to pretty much just... I don't know. It's, it's terrible. I hate it. Absolutely despise it. And that's probably a bad thing for me to say since I'm... Working with it constantly. Hashtag Nerds RPG Standalone. Where the fuck do you go? Why are you alone? That's the inside of a part of a terrace. Why are you not attached down here? All right. Now we got that shit unwrapped. We could drag. Well, it don't all need to be in the same spot. You can have this scattered anywhere you want. Like I said, it tiles each direction infinitely. <coughs> so I can put these anywhere, any, any place at all. I'm just going to do some guesswork here to uh, figure out how big I want these guys. I assume uh, the concrete tile is going to be a couple square feet by a couple square feet. Maybe a meter by a meter. Uh, you know... A couple feet by a couple feet, or a meter by a meter. Uh, oops. So we want to try to guess. How big a couple feet is. On this. One of these little roofs. Feelings. Parents. Eh. That's probably a little smaller than a couple feet. That's probably probably pretty close to a meter. 
we'll try that for now. We can always come in, select it all, shrink it down a little more, depending on how the texture looks. So it will collapse too. Yes. Make sure we got everything selected. Uh, unhide all, or yeah, hide selection. Now we're left with the floors, the roof, the doors, the stairs, the railing. We'll do floors next. That's a floor. That's a floor. And ceiling, that's a ceiling, that's a ceiling. Okay. Unwrap these guys. Now, these are probably already two different sizes. I forget those ones. I don't know. Maybe, right? And there's something in the middle again. Leave that. I know you're mad. Oh. Okay, never mind. That's just splitting through the middle already. Okay. Um, let's see here. I see we got one really small one and one really big one here. <laughs> we need to make them the same size, roughly. This guy. See, I don't know if I have the uh, texture on him yet. Let's, let's add the texture to him. The ground floor will smack the texture down on him. Us. Sign. Well, just sign it to everybody. Yeah, see how it's so big. You can't see the texture. But uh, we can fix that real quick. We'll just go control and shrink it down. Now we can start seeing the tiles. I'm just gotta make it roughly the same size as this guy down here. Way they uh they have the same resolution. I tested it before and shrunk that other guy down, but uh should have done them all at once. Normally you would. But I'm a fucking loser, so Nerd. It's a little small. Pull it up a little bit. Press. Close enough. Close enough, probably. And you're not going to notice any difference between floors and floors. But that looks about right. For each tile, that looks like about the right resolution of what we're wanting. We'll just leave it at that. So the floors are done. We'll collapse those. I guess. Hold, yes. And then we'll uh, hide those. Now, ceilings. I believe they may already be UV mapped. Same way I just did the floors. And there's really no bigger one out here somewhere. I'm pretty sure they're all three right there. Such. Start grabbing, polish, and checking. Uh, it's not that we select them from this size because they're all flipped down, so they're facing down. Set polish there. Polish in the same spot. And this polish in the same spot. So, yeah, these are already done. I can just collapse this. Ceilings are done. So we'll just hide these selections. Um, so we have stairs and doors. Stairs and doors. May actually... We're going to unhide by name. Um, we're going to grab Terrence, Concrete Pages, and Terrence. Okay. To stack these together. <coughs> I completely forgot I was going to do the stairs with these guys. You did that backwards, buddy. You're attaching to him, not him to you. Why are you grabbing his texture? That's not matter. Does not matter. It's gonna have a different texture on it anyway. Should have touched some 
triangles out of here, but it doesn't matter either. Um, as long as they're the same density, and they are. Mm -mm -mm -mm. This and these are going to have to be roughly the same resolution. Those are going to be concrete as well. Concrete stairs. We're going to have to zoom out. Here's our stairs, and they are broken. I broke some of them, messing with them. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm going to try to grab. It's not easy. Sometimes you just got to don't want okay. find out where that's at one piece or is it multiple pieces yes 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 I messed them up yes 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 I did I did okay that's this piece that's a new piece uh, it's only by itself so which put player map that and this guy here uh, you're kind of the way you're supposed to be, but you're kind of not. We'll help you out. Uh, you there. Grab you. Deselect you. Where are you at? Let me guess, you're on the bottom. You are not. Oh, you're on the other side. Okay. Okay. My fault will pop you out too. And you there. You there. I don't even see where you're at. <laughs> and I just messed all that shit up. I forgot to turn normalized map off. This guy. That's all alone. We'll pull him out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. What we're actually going to do is we're going to grab all of these and remap them. I did do a little editing after I mapped. That's why it's so screwed up. After I unwrapped it. We'll just re-unwrap it. These are not the best stairs I've ever done. Actually, they're kind of crappy. I admit that. I admit it. But hopefully you'll never notice it underneath the texture. Most people won't. If you look really hard, you may. But it's doubtful. We'll see. First person to notice it gets a free car. You gotta have screenshot proof and everybody's gotta agree that you noticed it. Something, something wrong with that. Uh, I don't think I grabbed a step or anything. Go left, left view. Ground view. We're just going to grab everything. Grab it all. 
grab it all and uh just deselect everything like that so boom It wouldn't help if I had ignore backspacing on. Try again. Oh shit. You some bitch. Okay, we're gonna redo this. Picking the stairs out. We gotta fix them before we can get them by themselves. There's such a pain in the ass. Alright. You. Yeah, I guess that's where I kind of messed everything up right there. Uh, grab it all. First. Now grab it all. And. Probably do it like that now. No, 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 no. Let's not get fancy. I didn't grab anything yet. Using these little bastards. Uh, yeah, what am I doing? I'm only grabbing this crap anyway. What's wrong with me? It must be getting late. Grabbing like this. Let me just go through and check. Grab all these little pieces. Mm-hmm. Do 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 Mistakes too. There we go. There's our landings. Not sure what that is. I think that's one of the little, yeah. The little top piece. Where can we weld that to? What's this? Oh, I missed one. You little bastard. Back up, back up, back up. Grab it. Hit it again. 
There we go. Now, where can we weld your ass to? Look for the blue line. And it's probably not going to show because there's so many stacked right there. So, see. Might show up up here. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to work. Ah, it's a little bit there. Potato. What the hell's left? That's the same color, isn't it? On the other side. Oops. Go by normal. Get it. This is all going to be concrete, concrete, and that should be it. The collapse to unisolate, grab both of these guys. So we can get him the same resolution and we'll be done with this filler. So we see that resolution. These are kind of big. Obviously. Uh, these need to be really small by comparison. Instead of the other way around. Uh, probably about right there. Uh, little more. Uh, probably pretty close. Okay. Uh, so I'll collapse that. I doze a little bit. We are coming down to the end here. Um, this is stair railing. The stair railing will probably have a very similar texture as the front doors. The front door glass already already UV'd and mapped. The front door, I believe, is already UV'd and mapped. So let's check. The front doors should be mapped also. Uh, open. They are. They're just mapped really small, which is fine. Because they are a solid color. They are... Um, Like an aluminum, metal, steel, whatever. You could make them black if you wanted. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're they're solid color, just like these other doors. They'll probably be a solid color too. This uh, elevator doors will probably be like a mirror finish. So this is all going to be really, 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 really simple. Uh, Simpler than I thought, except for the interior doors. That's going to get a little more complicated. And I'll show you why. First things first. All the interior doors are mapped the same. So we're going to put the, the rails on with those. So it will be the same type of finish. Grab one of those so we can see. We could have done tiling with those two and kept them outside the box, kept them higher resolution. We still can. We still can. All we gotta do is uh, collapse. Hold yes. And we just grab every door. But doing it that way. That adds a couple more textures to this and we don't really need to. 
we could put all the doors on this one single texture which is what we're gonna do And we're just going to map them out like we normally do. Um, we got to zoom out and we got to see what we're working with out here. Make sure we got all of this guy. Because that did a tiny bit of alteration to him, but he looks, he looks fine. Except right here. I think this is probably the end cap and uh, the new end cap that I made in here. Yeah. Because I had it five stories, and I took it down to four, so I had to delete this, and that's, it was the same thing with the stairs. Uh, Stormwise map, I'll hit it again. And same thing with you, little buddy. And then we grab this guy. Bitch, no. I didn't think so. I don't know what's going on right here. Doesn't make a whole hell of a lot of sense to me. I unwrapped it, but it's uh, not really making that much sense. Okay. Where? Feller here. Should be able to put him right there. So many stacked on top of each other now that it's not going to work like I am. what we may do is just leave it like it was like I said this is a mostly materialized object there's not going to be much to this or else I just unwrap it again no real texture to it so to speak Ballasters. Yep. Alright. Um bring it down. Oh yo. Drink a dink. Dink a dink dink dink. Skin it was. Okay. Uh, two. Oh, yes. Elevator doors. We're gonna have to shrink them down. They're freshly unwrapped. Go ahead and grab one of these also and this guy. UV unwrap. Now hang on. Check this guy first. Thought I had a UV unwrap on one of these guys. Alrighty. Go, 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 go. Oh, it's kind of freezing up now. No, you do not. No, you do not. Yes, save a copy. You son of a bitch. Oh. 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 See, I know it's getting late at night because I haven't saved in a while. I killed it.
So we just have to hope and hope that it will open a, uh, a clean copy that it just saved. You can always rely on that though. Sometimes it don't pop up. Sometimes it just, the recovered copy doesn't look like it should. Hope this does. Uh, if not, I'll have to go to an auto back. Which could be freaking hour ago. Try this again. Before I do anything, because we already have it to recover. No, we're not going to save over it yet until we know for sure that nothing in here is broke. Hmm. That's odd. I've never seen it do it like that. Okay. Obviously wrong. Gonna try just the elevator doors this time. Taking off that texture for some reason. It already has the UV on it. Uh, do I have double UVs on stuff? There is a way to fix that. Grab everything, collapse everything, and maybe that fixed it. I have uh, may have had UV modifiers on some other stuff. Like all these doors right here. Um, they may have had UV modifiers on them already. And I added another one on top. That may have been the problem. We'll see this time if it crashes. That was not the problem. Thirty. Go ahead and reset these and collapse. I think those are instances. We'll try this with just the elevator doors. See if they're the problem. Or if it's all of them together that's the problem. Elevator doors aren't a problem by themselves. Just uh door back facing off, grab everything, and we'll go ahead and scale these guys down. We know roughly where they should be. These are just going to be a uh, sort of material of their own type deal also. They're 
they're not really going to have much texture to them, if any. Set them down here. We can make them even smaller. We can make them even smaller. We'll put these over here. We've got the other guys up here. And we're going to put the rest of the doors down here. And we're going to put all the labels right here. So the rest of the doors. <coughs> Collapse that. Have this. Doors, 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 doors. Doors, doors, doors. Actually, what I need to do is put all the doors in. No, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. When I copy them up, I'll have to rename them. Because the way I have it set is apartment 1, apartment 2, apartment 3, apartment 4, apartment 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So I'll have to because it won't keep that order that I'm trying to create on the third and fourth floors. I'll have to rename them. And on the labels on the front of the doors, it will say like uh, 1B, 1C kind of thing. However, the texture wants to name. Or 101, 102, 103, 104, 201, 202. Yep. Got them all, looks like. Gotta map these guys. The unwrap. Uh. We're going to go ahead and save as. We got to go back to our building. Call this mapped. Go to. Try not to remove the texture on it. Okay, that's fine. Good. Got to get these doors. Now you see our labels. These are our labels right here. So we're going to keep those separate. They're going to be higher resolution, so you can actually read them. <coughs> Hopefully. Just the doors and the door handles. Shrink them down. And we're going to put these corner down here. There. <laughs> that like that. It probably go a little bit bigger. And go down. Grab the door handle. And we're gonna put that up here at the top. It's gonna be its own material. Now, labels. Labels is going to be a little rough. Uh, the balcony doors don't have labels. But the interior doors do. And some of them just say stairs. So, we're going to go find our labels. At this point... <coughs> And we'll have to remap these also when we duplicate the other doors. So I'll need to duplicate the doors before I can finish mapping the labels part. But uh, 
we can kind of get it down to proper size or what size I think it's going to be. Yeah. Uh, if I can fit 10 across and a quarter of this, that's probably a little over 100 pixels a piece. Which is about the size of one of these squares. One of these squares is about a hundred pixels of pop. Now we just gotta figure out how many we're gonna need. We got, um, well, let's check our selection properties here. See what door number we get up to. It's door number 24. There'll be another 16, yeah, 16 apartments per floor, so there'll be another 32 on top of that. This is at 56. So we need five deep, 10 across. Uh, that's easy. We can do five across, 10 deep, probably. So we can, we can probably double that. I get two squares wide. Probably something like that. And go 10 deep, easy. Easy. And that will give us 50. And we still have room down here for more. And probably some in between here for more. Each person will have a different apartment number. Um, but before I map those, I'm going to want to map their doors first. Um, these are stairs, these are stairs. Let's we'll select that guy, and this guy, and these guys over here. And this guy right here. And, uh, this is stairs. I think that's stairs. Yes, it is. There's it come out on this side. There's here. Not you. We want the little guy. And this this one will have say stairs on it. So we can keep these stacked on top of each other. Okay, there we go. Should have four of them. Uh, six of them. Open the UV editor, and we'll just pull those straight down, those blocks. Actually, we're just going to pull those up, grab it all, and pull these down. We'll put stairs in the top corner there. Before I can do the rest of these, I have to add the other floors with the doors. And I can rename them later, but I have to have them UVing. Uh, I have to map them with the rest of them so that they're in order. Everything's done except for the, uh, the labels on the doors. I didn't render out a door UV yet because I still have to do the labels on the doors and it keeps crashing for some reason. But it's really no big deal. I could just grab, you know, one of each and try it that way because they're all stacked on top of each other. Could have been, in fact, I was mixing this in with it. That was uh, giving it 
part time. Let's see. So we will unhide all. We will grab all of these guys. Now that you're all unwrapped and mapped. Dealing this floor. I should have all the doors selected. That floor. You have to unselect the stairs and the railing. We don't want to duplicate those. Go back to front view. That will go shift. Drag up the next level. Now we got to figure out which one there is our floor plane, and we have to try to line that floor plane up. confusing try to line it up with the stairs there which I'm pretty sure the floor plane is uh that second line right there just below the doors that line right there best to get it as close as possible hiding it to uh, double check it like this the door I'm just kind of for a few front few for the doors and Yeah, that's that's pretty close. That's pretty damn close. Yeah, that'll be fine. So we'll just undo, undo, undo. And pull the next one out. Mm, cancel. Put it all. Yeah, it's going to be five floors. With the ground floor only having eight apartments on it. Yeah, that's fine. Last part. Left. Front. And the last one. Last floor. I wish this was freaking, I could just push up and it would slide up a little bit, kind of like uh, Photoshop, but, hey, okay. gonna 
just do what I gotta do. My pivot's in a bad spot. I've got multiple objects selected, so I can't really change that. Pretty okay. And the roof sits on it nicely. Does it? Does it? It may need to go up just a touch. Get it above the ceiling level. Hmm. And we got to eat the ceiling actually on that last floor. So we're going to hide the roof. Need this ceiling. Don't need that ceiling. This ceiling has holes in it. Need the solid one. Okay. Now we can unhide. Unhide all. There's the building. Okay. There's go all the way up. We have four times sixteen plus eight apartments. It is completely unwrapped aside from the door labels. Completely mapped aside from the door labels. So we'll have to go in and do that floor by floor. Do that. I find it easier to do layers. This is my second floor. If I was to hide this layer, well, apparently everything's on that floor at this moment. Uh, my ground floor is down there by itself. I put the roof by itself. These stairs are by themselves. And it's the interior stairs, not the outside. They're part of the ground level. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call this door three. I'm going to create a new layer, call this door four. And one more. Floor five. Yes, this is a bit of polys. It's barely over the limit. Barely over the limit for armor. So the top two floors we're going to have to proxy. And that's mostly due to the fact that there are so many doors. And you will not see any of the doors or any of the interior if you're like 50 feet away from this building. It will be uh, set into LOD 2, which will have no interiors, so it won't cause any lag. This will actually be like a thousand polys when you're 50 feet away from it. But when you're inside the building, or when you're right up on it looking through a window, this is what you'll get, which is nothing, nothing. Honestly, even if you're at the bottom floor looking in the window, you might not even render the top floors. <laughs> so we'll probably still be under budget, but we'll just proxy the top two floors. Okay, um, I got those hidden. I don't want them hidden. We want to grab. We'll hide stairs. So we're not selecting them. We'll go front view. This is already on its own layer. We need to grab floor three stuff. All these guys. And there's a ceiling in there too that we want to grab. And I believe I grabbed a floor. If not, we'll just grab it again. Uh, ceiling. We did not grab. Just grab that. Okay. And then we'll go floor three, and then we'll go, see this? Like to highlight, no, uh, this one. 
add selected objects to a highlighted layer. Ba Bam! Now that's floor three. We can hide that. We'll go to the top. Where is the ceiling for the top? I don't see a ceiling for the top. Where did the top ceiling go? I'll bet it's on ground floor. It is. Okay, so, uh, which is okay. We can work with that. So grab all the top floor, floor number five. I got all the doors. And floor number five, add it. Then we can hide that. Now that's the easiest grabbing this floor four. Hide. And ground floor, we can hide that. And second floor is all by itself again. Okay. We rename this floor two. Now we got layers. Just easier to hide and unhide entire sections of your model if you put it in layers like this. Or you can freeze them if you don't want to accidentally drag them around. Or if you're working on something like uh, this little exported thing here, unfreeze it. Let's go ahead and try to eat the shit out of it. We don't need those dummies in there. Start at floor three. Um, and we can uh, go in here and hide individual things, like the ceiling. Let me make sure I've got all the doors. Okay. So, uh, hide these, these, these. Exterior walls, uh, interior walls, uh, door frames, parents, window frames, glass. One floor where the doors. Do the same thing with the other floors. Work on the labels. But that's pretty much it for mapping. I mean, uh, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to line these labels up side by side. It's going to be, uh, you know, five lined up side by side on this little corner of this texture map and ten up and down. So there'll be 50 some uh, in, in a little square area. That way when a texture artist gets a hold of it, they can just uh, type in the numbers on each one for each separate apartment. But that's going to take a little time. So I'm not going to stream that because there's really no point in uh, dragging any videos on. Doing this long monotonous crap, you already know what I'm gonna do. Seeing the rest of it, it's it's really simple. It's just really time consuming. But I thank you guys for watching, and I will be back. Uh, I might I might not texture this myself, but we'll see. If not, I'll start unwrapping the next apartment building, which I already have done. Uh, probably tomorrow. See you then.